All right, so this house was in pretty much uh, pretty bad condition. It had been over 20 years since it's been painted. This is how it looked in the beginning. So let's see how it transpires into a nice looking home. Uh, pretty bad shape, so check it out. Let's keep moving. Alright, so on this part, what we decided to do is just go ahead and prime coat all these uh, stucco pop outs first, just because, um, and then we could kind of shield into them and then go around and uh, do them by hand because I always end up with shadows on that dark color, and you know, you could cross spray it and everything you want, you still end up with some kind of shadow, so you can do it this way and then. Reduce your paint to second coat and just go through and uh, let it soak into the stucco and all that. And hit it all twice uh, by hand. Go around, just catch all your misses and all your shadows of the stucco and just kind of do a real quick coat on here. So, yeah, I wasn't real conscientious about it being perfectly covered. Um, spray it. Uh, if you load up too much next to masking, then it will probably bleed underneath anyway, and you end up with crooked lines. So it's probably easier just to go through and just touch it up twice with the stucco brush and with the go uh, with the uh, Vista tan brush, and that Spanish brown that we're using on there. So you can do it that way, or you can do it the other. A lot of different ways to do it. Uh, we just we weren't really conscientious, I wasn't really conscious of uh, uh, wasting labor and like that on this job. I just was trying to do it the um, easiest way. I wasn't looking for a uh, high profit or anything like that. And I could talk about, you know, because I don't really need to do that anymore. So, anyway, I just was uh, just having fun painting the house, getting it done. You know, a lot easier than doing some of the commercial stuff we do. You know. Some ways it's harder, but anyway. So I'll go through and doing all the spraying, doing all the edges and stuff, and and uh, just doing that. That's a three fifteen. So a real small tip, and I don't get too much on the stucco there. I can just control it pretty well. I'm using handgun, no poles, so I can just get right around those lights and all that. If there was nothing on any of that. I didn't even hit it because I had the gun angled in the right direction. It's all about the angle of which you're spraying, and that's which direction the paint goes on. So, you know, you can get your gun set up the way I do with the uh, flat tip set up there. You know, there's pretty much no fallout, no overspray. It just comes right out of the gun. In fact, if you notice, uh, we didn't even have to cover the bushes, and there was no signs of any paint, any overspray, any dust, nothing yep, on the bushes. So, up. just so you know, you don't really have to do that if you do everything right. Same thing with the top roof. Uh, there's no overspray, no dust, and uh, nothing on that roof at all. So, you know, so I get some guys on some of my videos watching it, and they. They say, oh, there's overspray on the roof. It's like, no, dude, no, I don't do that. So, it's just, there were stains on the roof or something like that, but nothing was overspray, nothing was for me. So, anyway, there's a lot of little pop outs in this house. Had a lot of those little foam, stuck old foam pop outs. See, we hadn't even done the walls yet there. That's the old paint color. Kind of was yellowy color. And we're putting on something a little more gray beige color, like a taupe. It's called the Vista Tan. I don't know, it's not really that tan. It's kind of almost a gray tan. It's kind of cool. It's a little taupey color. It was popular a few years back. And they wanted something simple with brown. And I thought, you know, they kind of saw that in the chart. And I said, no, that's a good one for you, I think. 
he wanted to use the basic colors because five years he wants to sell so he figured he wants something that everybody would like you know nobody would hate that's what you know nobody might people might not love it but people may not hate it so anyway just uh going through here cross brain a little bit i know i'm gonna have some stucco shadow misses it's really easy to fix if you got it pretty well covered you just go through with the brush it's the paint's thin down a little bit and just kind of just whip it around in the corners and stuff and take the brush and just push it in the cracks and have the paint nice and thin so it just kind of flows right into the edges that's what i'm doing later in the video anyway just a little bit of spraying that i noticed uh our masking was a little loose there it was hanging over the edge so i just stopped and fixed it and i'm always looking at everything when i'm spraying a lot of guys just spray they don't think or anything when they spray i'm always looking that's the way i learned so there's never a time to just well sometimes in the video i'm just painting i'm not even thinking at all just painting i don't care you know because like i said i'm not really trying to push the labor or anything like that just trying to cruise right now so but you know you guys are younger and you want to make some money and stuff like that maybe things get a little tighter that's why i have those other videos out there to show you how to make a little more money on your time because when things get tough you know you gotta really buckle down and make sure you don't waste any labor waste any paint you know, keep your prices down really low and make sure you get to work you know but still make the profit I'm not really in that zone right now so I'm just cruising so anyway yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and close out all this trim and I'll get into some uh, stucco here in a little bit uh, maybe I'll cut off the narration just get you guys just kind of watch it and then I kind of skip around we did the stucco first then we did the eaves and then while they were doing the eaves I was doing the trim so if you see me doing the trim and then I see you see masking later um, it's probably because uh, you know whatever I might have had the videos out of order or something like that so anyway anyway I'll just let you guys check it out and watch a little bit and uh, maybe learn a couple things watching somebody else you never know uh, it's up to you yeah, probably just do use it the way I do it you can do it your own way you know, brush and all these one more time. I have made a bit of money doing this, so maybe it'll think, help uh, you if you really want to. You know, there's some things in here. I'm not going to say this video is all full of cutting edge information. It's going to get you, you know, turn out pretty good. doing real well or anything. Like it's just to afterwards. basically us doing a house and you can kind of I check it out and see how we do. Of course, everybody was super happy when we were done. They looked at everything. Uh, the neighbors I mean, were all stopping and asking us uh, yeah, I don't even worry. I'm not gonna paint that one. I think cards and stuff like that usually that what one. happens when we do houses like it's a fascia. You see this many guys and there's a lot of guys for this job you know, really I mean I used to do houses like this by myself in About four days You know when I was younger and I'd make them look just as nice as what we did So actually five days I figure one day to wash it and then I come back and do a little bit of prep that day then I come back and God, paint the body, and I paint the trim, do the handwork, and then uh, clean up everything, do the doors, finish up all the touch up, and then go home. Friday. Did that all the time. Shit falling down on you.
Get a little more on there. We're good to go. That's what I figured. Switch over and do your tip and then Okay. Wipe off the excess paint on the shield so they can dry out a little faster and get reused quicker. Storm in the sun. Uh, so my guys wipe them on the have wall. Like 100 shields on the job, and I just usually have about 10. Right here, I just decided to kind of check out the color scheme and kind of look at the what was going on for a second there. Sometimes we do it like this, sometimes we just go ahead and finish out all the body first and then tape off the other. But I decided to do it this way because sometimes, you know, when you're spraying to try to hit the, around the window edges, it get, uh, overspray goes over the edge of your paper and you end up with shadows around your, around your wall. So I thought it may be easier just to go ahead and just prime coat them all and then come back and shield them against them and then go through and then do them on my hand okay. it seems to be about the same amount of time oh yeah i don't know if you've ever done that where you mask them all off around them unless you double your paper up then it's quite a bit of paper you're using so i don't know if might be a little easier a little less material i use about eight or nine it that way this time i you can't do way, five i think it's just fine Yeah, there's one there, uh, right there. And yeah, there's two more. There's one on the... Those on each side. It's all wall.
kick off the zone with the camera on it, but you can take the other ones off if you want. This might be easier, huh? I can actually take them off because you might change them. Yeah, she might be changing them. Except for the one with the camera on it out front. Some walls. Touch that one up. Pinchy on ladder.
clean. Get rid of that ugly. Oh, that was on here. Just dead. It was so dead. I'm about, so you can find that caulking gun, it's in the back, of the, it must be in the back of the truck somewhere. And we'll just caulk these and I'll re-hit them. You gotta fix them. Make sure you wipe them real tight. Great time back here. Oh yeah, I just keep taking speakers down. Or you just 
Just mask them off? Yeah, mask off. Okay. You can take the speaker down, the top down and mask off the bracket. It might be easier. <sighs> Got some of this wall. I didn't get much of it, but... Got a talking about 26? Huh? Okay. I don't know if we're just paint. Do you guys ever paint those sprinkler things? I don't know. That's a fire sprinkler thing right there, isn't it? Oh, the key boxes? Yeah. Um, I have a key box on the house like that. That's I. Yeah, I, I was going to just steal around it because I'm like, I don't know.
Yep. A big ass wall right here. Oh yeah. No windows in it either. But I mean it makes it easier for you guys masking. Yeah, you just gotta do the You guys can haul ass masking, huh? Yeah, I just gotta do the windows on the patio. Oh, those are fun. There's a crack up there too, so take a cotton gun with you. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. I got some two by fours up there you can yeah, kinda of walk on. Oh yeah, to reach the high part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. get that yeah. limit. Fucker. I don't know what to do on this. Almost done. Well, yeah, we're gonna be running out quick. Oh, hell yeah. You know, it's better that's gonna look right there on this wall. thousand times better, huh? Well, I guess we'll mask. I don't know what we're going to do with this. I just did it because it goes out.
All right, so I just decided to go ahead and do the trim. Just get one of us in the sprayer for the eaves. And we had two guys masking, so that was pretty, pretty easy. I blew out all the trim in a few hours. It's typically it takes about four hours on a two-story house, uh, most houses, unless you get something with ridiculously tons of trim on it uh, to uh, do all the trim, fascia board. You know, not all the not all the trim as far as this house goes, not not around the windows and all that, but just the fascia board. So, yeah, you notice I'm rolling first. I usually roll the first, roll the part first, let that set up a bit while I'm cutting in the top edge. And then what I do after I cut the top edge in is uh, then I can take my brush and I'll dip my brush again and making sure I'm getting all my cat eyes and then uh, I'll brush the top edge nice and heavy typically where it's right underneath the tile like that um, the wood is in better shape uh, if you didn't notice that so the bottom part of the fish bird gets most of the brunt of it but the very underneath where it's near the tile, the protection from the tile, he actually keeps the wood from, or the paint from getting really dilapidated, so the one coat on that part is usually pretty good. And then what I'll do is when I'm all done, if you notice, I'll dip my brush real thick with paint. And I had to help, uh, stop to help Junior get his ladder set up and uh, he's up there masking all these him and Johnny were masking and I was just doing the trim easy part to me trim's the easiest part some guys go oh spraying's the easiest no 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 you've been spraying if you're really spraying full on and you're putting on 15 to 30 gallons or so a day, you know, you're putting on, it's a lot on your body. Depends on what uh, you've done. I think I've done 30, 35 gallons in one day or more. But we were only working about, we worked till about 1 o'clock. We'd start about 7, worked till about 1 o'clock, and we just stopped for the day. So it's pretty easy not, not working into that heat. Because uh, this time of year, it's pretty hot, so we decided to, uh, Take it a little easier, just cruise, you know, like I said, we're not trying to hustle up money or anything. We're just kind of just staying busy, I'm just cruising along, getting work done. Been working hard through the pandemic, so we thought we'd just kind of cruise now. So that's what I do. You notice those last ones I put on the paint pretty thick, light, nice light tips on the brush. Let the brush release the paint onto the, onto the wood. And fill in the cracks pretty good. Uh, there was still some cracks on that wood, but uh, the wood was in pretty bad shape. It was way too long. In fact, the, some of it was a little dry rotted in the back. It'd be all right, you know. That's I've seen much worse. And, uh, I'd leave a house like that It'd be fine. It'd last for years, and they'll be happy. You know, versus trying to change a fascia. It's pretty expensive right now with wood. Which is very, very expensive right now. It's actually ridiculously priced. So it, I don't know if it's ever going to come down or if it's just going to stay up that way. I don't know what you guys think on that one. And people think it's going to come back down. I don't really know. You know, it seems like whenever it goes up, it just stays up there and never comes back down. You know, paint material's been ridiculously going up too. So, and I know that it usually doesn't come back down. So, it's kind of a scary thought though. If it goes up that much, how are we ever going to build stuff? But anyway, I'll let you guys cruise and watch this for a little while. Throw in some tunes and see what happens.
shutters? shutters? Yep. Shutter's front door is going to be the it's going to be the enamel that we got there. What you saying, I said we got the back doors going the same as the as the garage door. So we got a bunch of different colors we got to clean. clean up all this So a lot of time when you get to this point of the job, you're trying to tighten up everything real clean, get your edges real clean. Of course, I'm going to go into both colors. I'm just going around doing the brown, and uh, a lot of that I'm hitting twice because I'm I got my paint a little bit thin. Uh, the thinner you have your paint, the easier it is to brush a straight line. So if you get it thin, it, yeah, you don't want it to thin it to where it's so thin that you can see right through it, but you want it to be a little bit thinner and just add a little bit of water to it. And make it a little bit easier to cut straight lines and, and keep your brush moving quickly. That way you can move pretty fast. If you're going too slow and you got thick paint, you're probably going to get some really jaggedy looking lines. So 
Uh, that's why I do it this way. That Johnny had those things pretty jacked up, so I just came back and straightened them up. And uh, hopefully I got them all. They were all looking pretty good. Now, there's a couple spots that I know we need to touch up. Hopefully we did it, did it, and he didn't notice it or you know something like that. But around that jam right there, I remember I had to wipe something off. I hope that. Uh, we get to touch it up, I think he did, because he was into the door color. And I came around, probably saw it, and just touched it up. And I see that heavy spot on the jam there. I actually wiped that off with my finger to dry it out, and then came back and got it. Got my brush hit something there. And anyway, yeah, we're just uh, cutting everything in, tightening it all up, and. Shortly you'll see the end result will turn out pretty nice and yeah, normal. Just everyday exterior. This isn't anything fancy. This is nothing, you know, high end. You know, where you do those a little bit different. You know, everything's done according to what you charge your customer for. So it all depends. You know, this is just an average paint job, an average price. And uh you know, if you're not charging for that extra stuff for those really high-end homes, you know, you really need to do that to get paid for your time. So, anyway, these normal houses, you know, you do them fairly reasonable and, uh, you know, keep the people coming back and keep give them value, you know, give them a nice looking job, making sure it looks looking nice and straight, you know. So yeah this thing's gonna look pretty nice when we're done i'll bring you back in you should take a look at it see what you guys think at the end see your comments and make sure you like the video make sure uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed it'd be really nice yeah. learn some cool stuff there's a lot of good videos on the channel some of them are better than others you know some are not fully edited like this one but uh some of them are uh you know good information you know, I don't always have time to make an edited video, so uh, I just thought I'd make this one edited since I had a nice job, some good footage on it, and uh, you guys could, you know, watch the whole process in one video. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. See what your comments are as you go.
JB working. He's still learning. You can see the cutting needs to be done again to clean it up. Maybe another coat on this bottom fascia. Upper one looks good. This one's all cracked up. This was 20 years. Original paint. There we go. All ready to go. Had enough guys here, so we decided to mass the ease on this one. I'd rather just spray them and then touch them up. But we got laborers here, so easy house. There you go. Still trimming out. We're not done. Let's see some more. All right, so we're getting closer now. We just got to do our shutters. Uh, still got to clean up all the edges. It's not that's not tight to me. You know, these are loose, so we got to clean up all the edges. See the edges jaggedy and clean that up, make it look good. This is the stucco kind of has a ugly spot in it. So yeah, we're all got the lights off. We may be replacing them for them. Still got to paint our gate and a little more stuff back here. Fascia board, all done. Yeah, under these, all done. A couple touch ups, of course. Normal stuff. You got it. You got till five o'clock tonight to get your shit out. There we go. We'll paint it up. What a difference. Yeah. All right, we're cleaning up. Hey, Mr. Johnny Cleanup right there. That's the thing he's the best at. He is not a painter. Take a look here. This column's a little tighter there. I said these guys mass leaves. They do it either way. It doesn't matter. It comes out the same. See my other jobs where I cut them in? Depends on what you got for labor. Yeah, if you got guys to cut in, you got guys there to mask, and they mask, then if you got guys to cut in, you got guys to cut in. This time we had guys to mask, so that's what we went with. Garage door hit with water, wet water base material. Lasts for the longest period of time, better than the oils. So we got these side here, look at the eaves there. Nice clean cut. They're getting new lights. They're on order right now. They didn't have any in stock. So they're going to put those up later. This is done with Al-Qaeda Emotion water base. It's a uh, water base that turns oil when it dries. He told me not to paint that gate, but I painted it anyway. For his dogs and stuff. Alright, so we're all done. Looking good. Rolling out. That's the colors they picked for the shutters, so they had a, actually a lighter color in it with just too, too light blended in the stuck with that. So we kind of tuned it up a little bit, made it what you wanted. Had the tents in the truck. We're out of here. Talk to you next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.